28 years have passed since Khojali genocide was committed. Khojali town was razed to the ground on the night of February 25, 26, 1992 by the Armenian troops with the help of the predominantly Armenian 366 Motor Rifle Division of the Soviet Army based in Khankendi. As a result of the massacre committed by Armenian aggressors against the Azerbaijani people, 613 people including 106 women, 63 children, 70 elderly people were killed, 487 became disabled, 1,275 civilians were taken captive, 155 people are still unaccounted for. Eight families were completely annihilated, 25 children lost both parents, 132 children one of their parents. Every year, the Azerbaijanis all over the world commemorate the victims of Khojali tragedy. President Ilham Aliyev visited the monument to the victims of Khojali genocide. The state and government representatives also pay tribute to the victims of Khojali tragedy. Khojali tragedy is the continuation of the ethnic cleansing and genocide policy pursued by Armenian nationalists and their supporters against the Azerbaijani people throughout 200 years. 56 people were killed atrociously, three burnt alive, scalped and beheaded, their eyes gouged out, pregnant women were bayoneted. The fact that these actions were planned with the intention to kill people for their nationality proves, according to the international law, that Khojali tragedy was genocide.
The international community must give a legal assessment to this crime against humanity. The Azerbaijani state is carrying out purposeful activities to inform the world community about the crimes committed by Armenian nationalists against our people, as well as Khojali genocide. President Ilham Aliyev said Khojali tragedy was a bloody page of the genocide, an ethnic cleansing policy pursued by Armenian nationalists against the Azerbaijani people for centuries. This massacre committed late in the 20th century was a crime not only against the Azerbaijani people, but also the whole mankind. After the nationwide leader Haider Aliyev returned to power, Khojali tragedy was given a real political and legal assessment. In 1994, on the initiative of the nationwide leader Haider Aliyev, the Azerbaijani parliament declared February 26 the day of Khojali genocide. Since then, the Azerbaijanis all over the world were urged to be active to achieve recognition of this genocide in the world. The Azerbaijani diaspora has been taking active measures to inform the world community about the truce on Khojali. Khojala genocide is commemorated in hundreds of cities worldwide. The facts on the genocide are demonstrated at the international organizations. The Haider Ali Foundation has also made great contributions to delivering the truth to the world community. The Foundation implements projects on the anniversary of Khojala genocide in different countries. The aim is to inform the world community about the genocide and demonstrate to the international organizations materials on the atrocities committed by Armenians. Karabakh truce books and booklets published in English are circulated by the Foundation abroad. Rallies and events are organized in different countries as part of the Justice for Khojali campaign. Armenian lies and falsifications are exposed as a result of these activities. The fact that Khojali tragedy is genocide is reflected in the decisions and resolutions of a number of countries and international organizations. The Organization of Islamic Cooperation, which has 56 member states, assess Khojali tragedy as a crime against humanity and recognize it as a genocide. The organization called on the member states to give an appropriate political legal assessment to the tragedy. More than 10 countries have recognized Khojali massacre as genocide. Though by committing Khojala genocide, the enemy aimed at weakening the Azerbaijani people, distracting the people from the fight for sovereignty and territorial integrity, and occupied our lands by force, this tragedy made our people even more stronger, mobilized our heroes to fight for our motherland and national statehood. The fact that the genocide victims are commemorated every year shows that the terrible massacre committed by Armenians in Khojali will never be forgotten. The future generations will never forget the Khojali genocide. Those who committed the genocide will be punished.
By committing Khojali genocide, the Armenians wanted to weaken our people, but our tragedies made us stronger. Our people became stronger, we established a powerful state. Today this state has its say in the world. Azerbaijan is among the countries promoting friendship and partnership in the world. Azerbaijan, which is strengthening its economic and political power and making contributions to ensuring peace and stability in the region, will achieve peaceful resolution of Nagorno-Karabakh conflict within the framework of its territorial integrity. The people's patriotism, love for motherland, successful policy and resolute position of the head of state give us grounds to say this. Armenians may forget their historic motherland. The Azerbaijani people can never forget their historic motherland. The children born in refugee camps in Baku and other places, to the families from Nagorno-Karabakh, occupied regions only wish to return home. President Ilham Aliyev's statement is based on a very strong idea. We will return to our historic lands. We will return to Karabakh, even to Khojali. This will be the triumph of the Azerbaijani state. This will calm down the brave people who during Khojali genocide defended their neighbors, relatives and friends. Until this happens, every part of the Mazaland is Khojali. We are all from Khojali.